<laughs> Did that put you off there? Uh, E3 is cancelled. There's a Final Fantasy demo and Ghost of Tsushima finally has a release date. And there's the Nin Station. And the weird Nintendo Lego. And a lot more. Because there's too much. There is too much here on tonight's Critical Path. Hello everyone, it's me, your friend Ben. I'm here being very professional. This is Hack the Dino, our critical path, and this is the 92nd time we've done this. 92 times, my goodness. We're going to have to think of something big to do on episode 100. Mm, maybe we could just not yell all the way through this. <laughs> no, I can't do it. My name is Ben Rosenthal. I'm a very yelly man. Who are you? Oh, I'm Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the levels. And uh, I'm floppy. I'm pretty chill. You're pretty. You're very relaxed. Yeah, you're man. Duty shirt. Nice like little shirt. Your man. opinion, man. Should yeah. we give each other like, um, you know, that people have like names that they say. Well, you know, we can give each other a little like intro name. Like... Yeah, we'll think about that. And over on the keys is the Millennial Falcon, <laughs> Brayden. I'm going to be over here doing my job. Uh, guys, I love the uh, clear plastic stand that we've yeah. got as <laughs> part of our set well. today. Oh, that's our new invisible console. Why on that? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that big space floppy you left. You had all the We time had a power out. outage. Oh. I had stuff there. You've moved it. All right. Oh, Get some toys. Well. Anyway, we got a lot to talk about in this shambles of a show. <laughs> But don't Wait, get in front of me! <laughs> For those of you watching on YouTube, I'm sorry. For those of you listening to us over on SoundCloud, thank you, you very much. For listening to our Thanks, podcast with your ears and the holes that accompany them. You can also be listening over on iTunes or over on Spotify. Be sure to check out hackthedino.com for all those links. Uh, you may be watching us on youtube.com backslash hackthedino. If you are, thank you very much. If you could hit that subscribe button somewhere. And also ring that little bell. The bell's very important. If you don't ring the bell, you don't know when we're going to come and just mess up your face. Yeah, someone will come into your house and kill you. Yep, that, that's a guarantee. No. That's a hack the dino guarantee. That won't happen. I promise. And we, of course, also have a Discord where you can come on in and chat to us like it was back in 1995 <laughs> <laughs> in the MIRC days. Yes, we're old enough to remember that. Uh bit.ly backslash hack the dino come on in join in there's a bunch of people in there very friendly uh we love them all community it's a great community it's a community yeah. we talk about Probably games people. we we share photos of stuff that we get people get very jealous of my awesome pickups that i have um it, it's great like games i should I stress I'm, I'm very very happily anyway <laughs> let's uh <laughs> talk about things we've been playing what we've been playing <laughs> Dan. Hello. <laughs> what have I been playing? I'm going to have to actually look. Oh, yeah. So I streamed on the weekend on Sunday. Um, thanks. A shout out to everyone that was in the stream. I did a nice stream, including... You went there. Including Game oh, Boy I'm Dave. there every other time, though. I just thought I'd get, I'd never get thanked. Um, I, I decided to... You get thanked every show for being a Patreon. Shh. I, <laughs> I decided to stream Sonic Forces because it was free on PlayStation Plus. And that's the only time you should play a Sonic game. It Pretty much. It was my dad. So this is my actual stream that we're showing here up on the thing. You can see it's uh, gross. Uh, so, story. You ready? Yep. You ready for the story of, of Sonic Forces? Hit me. It story. starts with Eggman's turned up and he's got Metal, Shadow, Zarvok and Chaos with him, which are all the enemies from the um, the previous ones. The only one I knew was Chaos from because it was in Sonic Adventure. I know Shadow. On the Dreamcast. Yeah, I don't know what he, who he is though. And he's turned up with this new enemy here, which you can see shooting down... Um, who is this like this kind of fox, black and red fox, and his name's Infinite. Right. Um, which is a spoiler. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, anyway, Sonic gets captured in the first first opening. And um Spoilers alert. Yeah, he gets he gets captured and then it's up to and then the world goes to shit. It actually <laughs> has a title card that comes up black goes after uh, Sonic got caught. Wait a minute, is this just Sonic Endgame? <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> Everyone's yeah, pretty, here. Pretty much, yeah. And then, um, so the world goes, yeah, here it is. With Sonic defeated, Eggman's army quickly took over we within months. And a few, but a few isolated areas of the world uh, were not under the control. Anyway, you play as the resistance <laughs> to Eggman. Okay. And you play as your That's own great. beautiful custom character. I saw you your custom unlock. character. I, he's beautiful. in here. Can we, there he is. So I created a custom character, a green cat. Um, there are a lot of customization. Why does he look like he's doing a poop? 
That's because I'm picking his victory stance. Because Dan's playing as him. Your victory Dan's stance very is bad at games. poopy. Yeah, as you can see, I picked a green cat because I like green, so why not? The color. Um, it's all right. It's great. Every, every level... Uh, here white. we got... What's that guy's name? we got Knuckles is there. Knuckles. They're all here. Albino. Um, Knuckles is heaps punky, isn't he? Yeah, he's a bit weird. He's got, that, a, he's, he's got a very smooth voice, though. You got a bee. You got yeah. The bee's gross. <laughs> I, I, I the rhino beetle that's there. I only know these characters because I played a PS2 game. Introducing my character, Still the green like... cat that comes in, <laughs> who can't see anything. Yeah, why is his eyes always closed? Because I just did that. Hey, hey, hey! Brock in Pokemon has not been able to see things for the last twenty-five years. <laughs> exactly. Explain a lot. That... Not that what, one. What's the white Sonic character called? I um, honestly have no idea. Albino. Anyway, you get given a gun. Sweet. Um, Good. <laughs> Uh, your gun is called a Wispin. Anyway, after after each level, you can unlock um, character customizations like gloves and shoes, and you get new Wispins and stuff like that. Wispins. Wispins. They're called Wispins. The I know. Ever. Um, and so, as the game goes on, you start off as like your character. <laughs> you go <laughs> on to like, uh, and then all of a sudden, for no reason, classic Sonic shows up, and there is no explanation right. why. <laughs> he just rocks up. And then they go, oh, hey, Classic Sonic, how you going? And I'm like, why, why is he here? And it must have been from one of the other games, which I haven't played, that they just uh, they can handle. So you play as your customized character, which is basically a, um, he's just got a gun and he conscious people and hurts people. You play as Classic Sonic and then you play as Modern Sonic once you um, free him from his uh, uh, thing. And it, and it goes between uh, forward 3D worlds to 2.5D. Um, 2.5D! Uh, so, so, sideways scrolling kind of uh, worlds. Which is kind of cool, and it works well. On the whole, it works fine. Like the levels are fine. You're going, you're going along. It's awesome, but it's very easy. I was playing on normal, mm -hmm. um, and most of the levels, all you have to do is press forward, and then whenever you see anything that looks like it could poten potentially be a bad guy, you just press a button and you kill them. And you can do that. And I finished the whole game in 2.5 hours. Yep. One string. I was there for the whole stream. thing. It was a sixty. It's a sixty dollar game to buy. Uh, Two point five hours. But there were little there were, side missions to go back to the previous levels. And, well, yeah, and you can more. replay levels and stuff. And there's different ways to go on certain. But I just played the core gameplay, and it was like you know. Yeah. There was no reason to play it anymore. Does look very easy. But did you have fun for those two point five? It hours? was pretty fun. It was really. It, yeah, it was quite fun. Um, it was a fine Sonic game. Like it worked. The only time it glitched. <laughs> <laughs> that's the it standard works. for a Sonic game. Yeah, if it, it works, works, we're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Silver the Hedgehog. That's right. That's what the other person is. Thank you, Epolian, in the chat. Um, Silver is the white hedgehog. What was that? This is my, yeah, for the for the um, podcast viewers. We're actually watching a footage of my stream, and there's a lot of weird videos coming out because my streams are a bit strange and wacky. <laughs> yeah, we let Dan have full creative license. Um, so the whole game is 30 levels. So you've got 2.5 um, hours. Thirty levels at sixty dollars. Um, so you get two dollars a level you're playing. You're paying for. <laughs> hey, well, well, this isn't an EA game. Yeah, well, no microtransactions. Do you reckon you could, you could get thirty more levels? They charge you another sixty bucks. Hell yeah, they would. Uh, they um, forty. Throughout the levels, you can get power ups. You can uh, you can get uh, these little things. The things I did like is that when you play as classic Sonic, all your classic sound effects and your, your power-ups and your ring computers and everything went to classic Sonic sounds, which I really enjoyed. Sweet. Are your controls really janky and hard to control as well? Yes. Oh, jeez. Do you visit? You can see it here. You can get in the speed boots. Um, there was a lot of spins in this game, as in loops and, jig and you know, uh, classic Sonic thingamajiggies that spin around and all stuff like that. So, But overall... It was a playable game, but it was just really, really short, and it's way too expensive. But it is free on PS Plus this this uh, month if you want to pick it up. Well, floppy, you had a push. Do you visit like when you are playing as Classic Sonic? And that, do you visit areas from the Classic Sonic, like grasslands stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. So you go to all the and what makes it kind of cool is because the world is stuffed up. As you go through like green hills and stuff green like hills, that, green hills. Sorry, um, it gets it gets it gets more. These are classic kind of bits of Sonic levels as well. It gets getting more destroyed. And the grass is getting browner because it's dying and stuff. And your character actually meant he like comments, he's like, oh man, why why is everything dying? You see there's giant robots in the background destroying this level, which that is a classic cool. Sonic level. That looks cool. Um so they've put a, a bit of thought into it, like, you know, at least a couple of uh, uh, you know, two hours of thought into it. Two point five? Yeah, two point five hours. And uh yeah, they probably they probably thought about it less than actually actually the uh 
how long the game is. Now, didn't this get released as a double pack with Sonic Mania as Mania? Well? I'm not sure about that. Sonic Mania was a decent enough Sonic game. Mania was really good. I played Sonic Mania, it was really good. I'm pretty sure you can get this and Sonic Mania as a double pack in yeah. physical copies. I bought Sonic Mania as well. Um, that was cool, that game. Like, mm. diff different vibes and... You see here we're unlocking, you get heaps of unlocks, eh? Mm. Like, and if you do a level really fast, you get even more unlocks. You get like six unlocks a, a level or something ridiculous. Look at all these things I'm unlocking. Boots, cow, and most of them are unwearable. Like, Did you, you unlock enough like stuff to make you your look like cool? a Yeah, you look like a turkey. Mine at the end, though, was right. I, I, from most oh. of the level, I <laughs> if you can click forward, Brayden, if you can find like one of me like, in, my gold, in my silver suit and then my gold suit at the end. It was green, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I had, I had a, a gold. Yeah, here yeah, I had a golden, golden green suit. But then at the end, I found like a robot suit. It was wicked. Anyway, um, that's my thoughts on it. Um, to tell you the truth, I wouldn't buy this game. Um, I would download it free and play it, obviously, because I did. Uh, well, I guess now that you've got it, because it's PlayStation, will you go back to it? Oh no, so, I've got too many games to play to go back and even see. Even if you didn't, even if you weren't required well, to. Well, there's not enough in incentive to keep playing it because all you get is character customizations. Yeah. And then once um, once that's done, it's done. I'm just gonna reach my hand out here, yeah. and, and maybe a coffee will come into it. it right. Just... That'd be magic. Yeah, it's it's. Uh... That'd be super Ow. magic. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna try the same thing. You get nothing, floppy. Yeah. Um. What was I saying? Oh. Um. You're right, yeah. Uh, you have no incentive to go back and play those other levels because all you're going to get is naff, um, bits of clothing. And once you've created your character and you're really happy with it, you just don't. You just skip through that stuff as quickly as you can at the end of the level. Because I, I, I like my character. He looks good. He's rad. I don't want to change him. The only thing you do change is your wispins, and you can upgrade your wispins. Wispin. And so, but yeah, the wispins are worth talking about. They're hilarious guns. So one of them turns people into cubes. <laughs> One of them creates a whole bunch of um, avatars behind you that you fire out at people. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense. I thought, yeah, they're all wacky weapons. Um, but they all kind of do the same thing. They just wipe out whatever's in front of you. Anyway, that's it. Cool. All right. I've been playing uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo. Ooh. So I jump in now, much like Dan, I never played Final Fantasy VII. I, maybe I did when it first came out. So I'm not a Final Fantasy freak either. Can I just um, disclaim myself? I am a Final Fantasy VII freak, but I've just never played the game. I know everything about everything around the lore. Whereas I know Weird. nothing. I know his name's Cloud, and I know the big guy's name's Barrett, and that's his, about it. Do you know his he last a, name? He's a gunhead. Nah. Brr, strife. Cloud Strife. <laughs> Good is that name? Yeah, it's Strife. Okay. It's the worst name. St if he was Australian, he'd be Struth. We've got a movie for you to watch. Cloud Me. Struth! This. It's like two hours of Final Fantasy VII. Oh, yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, the first it is the demo itself is 7.55 gig large, so not that big. Uh, it's the first chapter, which is the bombing of Mako Reactor One. Uh, it first up looks gorgeous. It looks absolutely stunning. I was playing it on a basic PlayStation Four, not a Pro. Don't you have a Pro? No, I got a Darth Vader PlayStation Four. Coward. Ooh. Yeah. No, nah, Darth Vader. Cow. Cool. I'm afraid to spend my money, everyone. Um, it, uh, the music's great. In fact, uh, my partner Jasmine was in the other room when I was playing it, and she came out and said, oh, that music sounds excellent. And it did. The voice acting's really, really good. Um, the uh, two options you have for battle or mechanics, you can go classic turn-based or more of a, a battle RPG style. I chose the battle, so more like Final Fantasy XV. Um, both look the same on screen, irrespective of what you choose. I think just the really? menus, yeah, the menus are different. So if you choose the Final Fantasy XV more fluid RPG type style, you hold X, I think, and time slows down. Like, oh, cool. really slows down and enables you to go through the menus. Um, that gave me a bit of anxiety because <coughs> it's not... Like a countdown timer? No, no, there's no countdown timer. No, but like that? Like... It, it shadows. Like, Braden? Yeah, as in, like, I was watching some other people play it and I saw it doesn't stop. Time. No, 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 it's very, very slow. You have to constantly be doing something. Yeah. It so if you're, like if so you, you're you don't needing get that a potion, relax. yeah, if you need a uh, a potion to heal up, you need to go into this menu and the sub menu to get it. It's still moving in the background, just oh, very okay. slowly. Wait, is that in the non turn based one? Correct. So yeah, if yeah. you're not familiar with your menu, yeah, it, <laughs> it, it gets very anxious. There's something wow. though in Final Fantasy you get familiar with. It's your menu. By the end of Final Fantasy, you're like, yeah. um, so. I managed to play through it. Uh, it goes for about an hour, just over an hour. Um, 
So I don't know what that meant, but anyway, moving on. Uh, it's very button mashing, which I didn't like. So uh, when you're playing as Cloud, you're basically just hitting square. Hit, 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 hit. Kind of like, like a God of War. Uh, not, not even less. Oh really? Um, so you have two attacks, which is tap, 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 or tap, hold, release. Uh, and then you go into your sub-menus for your magic and, and whatnot. I'm okay with this. That, um, that happens a lot in Final Fantasies at the start. It's like your, 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 your core strategy gameplay only kind of really kicks in later on in the game when stuff gets really hard and you have to sit back and Well, I mean, stay. having said that, Cause most this of them are just... wasn't easy. Like, I did oh. just normal and I died uh, at the boss. Like, he, he whooped me. Uh, I'll get to that in a little bit. Oh, no, I'll get to it now. That coffee smells good. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the Scorpion Sentinel is the boss at the end of the level, just before you blow it up. And uh, he, yeah, here he is. Absolutely wow. whooped my butt. He's big. Um, I ran out of potions, I ran out of revives, and he just slaughtered me. Uh, Barrett's pretty much useless, because <laughs> he does like one and two damage. So he, oh, you just saw then, uh, someone going into the sub-menu and yeah, still moving. Yeah, and just sort of slowed down. Uh, what I really like is... The HUD is very, very small, and you can even take away what you see there. So you have you can't see it on screen at the moment because it's blocked by our um, ticker tape. Down the bottom left. Uh, but bottom left, uh, yeah. So you have bottom left your menu, bottom right your health bar, and top left top uh, sorry top left you got all your commands. You can take them away and have pretty much a clean HUD, which looked really, really cool. Do you just take away your commands, and does it still keep your health and stuff there, or does it take all that away as well? Uh, I think you can. It keeps your health, but you can take away your commands. I don't like did it. you like, beat I the feel like I'm missing out on something. Did you beat the Scorpion? I did. It took me, I reckon, three or four tries. Do you find that there could have been a diff, if you thought about it, a different way you could have approached it and made it easier that you just didn't realise? Like Probably. I, yeah. I didn't think too much into did it. You get him into it. It looks like he's got a bit of a bum hole in the back there. Well, that's what you have to get. That's the target. You have like, to get around and lock on. And get onto his little... Okay. Look, at it. Look at it, it's, it's presenting. Yeah, all right, thank it's you. It's a shield generator. You know anyway, so stuff. progress doesn't copy over to the full game. So this oh. is a standalone demo. So if you play this, you're going to have to play it again. I'm not going to. I'm going to wait That's for the full four. one. Um, now, it was God. Uh, it was God. It was good. <laughs> it was good. It was a good game. I enjoyed it. I'm not sure if I'll buy it. Uh, I don't have the attachment to it. As I said, I, I may have played this once mm. when I was younger. Uh, so I was coming into this as a, a brand new game, a, an opportunity to uh, experience something free of nostalgia. It was good. I, I really don't nice feel the desire. You know, um, got Ghost of Tsushima coming up. You got Last of Us Part Two coming up. They're two games I'd much rather put a lot of hours into. Even though this says holds like the iconic status that it does. Yeah, but I don't have any attachment to it. So I'd Fair be enough. I'd be playing it to be part of the conversation, but I didn't really care enough. I always play things to be part of the Brad, conversation. You... In the grand scheme of things, it's also being still considered like part one. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's very weird. Of what? But of they've also said it, this isn't all of Final Fantasy VII from nineteen. No, this is all. No. This is up until you leave the Midgar. Yes. Third? But they have oh. said uh, no, not even that. Not even that. Um, Fifth. They have said that the side quests will be as long as the actual main quest. Oh, yeah. So oh, they've yeah. filled it out. They're like, you, you're spending this whole game in Midgar. What still doesn't compute with me is they're releasing this at the end of the PS4, and that means the other two versions are going to come out on PS5? Yeah, that was my Fine. concern. It's going like, it's to... It'll do it on both. It'll come out on both. And, PS4 yeah. plays on PS5. Yeah, yeah, well, anyway. they, they, this week, the Square dudes... Actually, didn't they announce? They said that it's going to be completely like cross-platform. Oh yeah, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. so it'll probably be like bite on whatever you've got on whatever kind of thing. What's that thing called? Smart delivery. Yeah, something like that. Um. Anyway, yeah, I, I'm not sure if I'll get it. Dan, I know you will, so I might just watch you okay. play it. I'll get it. Yeah, right. yeah. Oh, to me, like, someone in the chat's written here. Is it worth buying a P? Uh, Game Boy Dad in the chat's written. Is it worth buying a PS4 for? If you don't uh, have a PS4. See, someone like me, if I didn't own a PS4 at this point, and how much I love Final Fantasy VII, I would have bought it for this Now game. is the time to start buying PS4s, because they're about to become very, very cheap as we get closer to the next gen. They're going to get cheaper. I don't think they'll get very, very cheap for a Second while. Secondhand, they will. They'll get cheaper. Um, but you've got God of War on there. Yeah. You've got Red Dead. You've got Last of Us. You'll have Last of Us 2. You'll have Cyberpunk. You'll have Ghost of Tsushima. You'll have all these amazing Horizon games on Zero there. Dawn. Yep, Horizon Zero so Dawn. Many yeah, all these are going... Yeah, so many these are crossing over. So you might have infamous games. Yeah, and those games now, because they're classics, you get them for 25, 25 bucks. bucks. 25 bucks for oh, 24. God of War. Yeah. 24.95. Yeah. Uh, so I would buy one if you can find a good deal yeah. or even a second hand one uh definitely a ps4 pro oh spider-man's on there as yeah. well if you get a uh second hand ps4 and then for 150 bucks you could have yourself like a handful a massive handful of classic like ps4 games it'd be awesome yeah 
Anyway, so that's what I've been playing. It, it's okay. If you're a fan of Final Fantasy VII, definitely check out the demo. Uh, if not, check it out anyway. It's free. What do you got to lose besides time? Yeah, You've cool. all got to lose. That's yeah, why, that's why yeah. people like us are time... We're, we're time rich. That's why we play games. We're all slowly decaying. Guess what I've been playing? Going deep into that eternal darkness. I've been playing some stuff too. We'll, we'll never be the same again. <laughs> Uh, I have been playing super hot. Now I've been playing super hot in standard mode, and I've also been playing super hot as a VR game. Two separate games, uh, based on the same concept, which are really, really hey, cool. Two separate games. Yeah, two separate games. So it's not the same. Really, it's not the same. Yeah. Oh, cool. No, you got different abilities in one and the other. Sweet. Just due to the control oh, methods. Oh, nut punch. So this is awesome. Hey, if you don't know what punch. super hit, super hot is, it's a first-person shooter, but with a twist. And the twist being that the time moves as fast as you do. Yeah, time only moves when you move. No, no, it moves very slowly if you're still, but as soon as you speed up or do something that, uh, say, you fire a bullet, everything else speeds up as well. Now, this is really cool, because what it means you can do is take your time, line up stuff, have a look around, because turning your head does not speed up time. Moving your, say, arms and limbs does. Um, so in VR, you can do things like dodge bullets, which is really cool, because if you see them coming, you can do the whole matrix things of slowly move out the way. So turn good, eh? Watch them if you're really good and you've got a knife in your hand, slice them in two. Um, very, very cool. Lots of uh, lots of cool little matrix -y type stuff that you can do in the VR stuff. Now, you can also do really cool stuff in the standard mode. Uh, things like that. <laughs> you he reach... just caught the gun in yeah. midair. That's yeah, you, you brilliant. can do that in the VR. You can way. do that in the VR. You can do that in the standard. Have you played this? No. It's. I own this. We should play this after the stream. This is one of the yeah, best is, VR is, games you'll ever play. It is wild. Uh, so you've got so lots easy. and lots of weapons. Uh, so in weapons, you can use guns which range from pistols to machine guns to shotguns. That is awesome. Uh, I haven't seen if there's anything above machine guns. Did you just bank a bullet off a... Of... No, no okay. and you grab things. You can throw anything that's black, you can pick up. So the way it works is black is uh, stuff that you can use. Uh, red is a bad guy. Uh, white is walls and sort of and floors and structures and stuff like that. Do you know you can use your gun in bullet time to hit the bullets away? You can do that, and you can also, once you run out of bullets, because you don't have infinite ammo, you might get five, you might get six, you might get four shots. You didn't just throw your weapon at someone else, it stuns them. Have you got up to the point where your character goes out of VR within the game? Yes, a few times. Yeah, it's so a good. And that, that broke my brain, and I like my jaw dropped when I got to that initially. So that part there, so what the, the story is that you are playing as a gamer, playing a game. And in the standard one, that gamer is sort of chatting via, to someone else via a, like a DOS type chat yeah, service. Yeah, it's, like it's like a 4 8, like when you come yeah. out of it, you're in like you're 4 8 6, you get discs and there put them go. in the go. Yeah, yeah, like this, like this. Is, this, so this is the VR version that, that we're looking at now. Uh, in the standard version, you'll be looking at a DOS screen with like prompts coming up and the clicky clacky keys of the old 286, 386s. Uh, and you're playing a cracked version of the game, but then the game becomes self, or, or not the game becomes self-aware, the game developers become aware that you're playing their game. And it sort of turns into a bit of a mind, uh, mind bending, they know what you're doing and are manipulating you kind of thing. It's really, really cool. Um, very, very cool. Uh, the narrative, awesome. The graphics, I really love inside the game, so it's very polygonal, like you can see, very basic. <laughs> From what I understand, it was developed in like a jam session. Sweet. Oh, like one of those, yeah, those uh, game jams. Yeah, they sort of did it all that. And then it was, the concept was so good that they turned it into a game. And, and yeah, and this is what we've got now. Like, it's, the catching the guns and, like, doing this stuff in this game is so intuitive. It, that when you, you're doing it, you feel cool. And that is the so only cool. reason you play VR is to feel cool. And you feel cool. My wife actually loved this game. And was, um, I think one night we played it and she got so into it, she ended up, didn't know where she was, and she punched the TV. Oh, I've hit the window a number of times. <laughs> um, they're one of the coolest parts. Oh, and she went to lean on a, um, a crate and fell down. <laughs> <laughs> one of the coolest parts, this is a level that starts out, and there's two, uh, I think it was two knives or two ninja stars dropping in front of you. And, and I reached out, grabbed them, threw them to the side to get the two guys that were running at me with weapons, grabbed their weapons and shot two other guys. It was, it was literally the coolest I've ever been in my entire life. Yeah, I can uh, confirm that. <laughs> like getting, like, this bit, so you get like a knife and you're like, go here, you stab someone in the face. Oh, that's face, the actual part. And then you, you like have a shotgun no, and you I'll... just like, you look around as a dude right there and you shotgun them point blank. It's this bit so... here. It comes up, it, so you kill this guy, jump up onto the bridge, and then the two shuriken. Yeah, come flying down, and then, yeah, that's exact. That's exact. Yeah, like, 
and you the levels are within the level so the next level will be in this space somewhere and you can still see the carnage of people falling down so, from your level before on that note what you can do if you have uh, an item and you know you're about to finish that sort of little you can section throw of it into you it. throw it to where you know you're going to teleport and then you teleport to that part start the next bit you can catch it sweet can you use your 50 cuffs you yeah you can yep. Sweet. Absolutely. So you can run up to people, you can punch them, uh, three punches and they're out, you know, so that sort of thing. But you can also <laughs> punch a dude that's got a gun, he'll drop his gun, you can grab it in midair and take him out with it. Awesome. See, I'd want to try and... Has anyone done like a run where they don't use weapons? Yeah, you can. Um, and it's just... You can, but it would, be, it would be hard. It would be hard. Yeah, it's hard because someone like the dude up in the helicopter is not going to come down. So you, you could do I mean? some like... like throw something, you could throw your weapon at him. Yeah. Now in VR, uh, throwing can be hard, because mm -hmm. it's, you know, motion controllers, the camera, not always the coolest bit of kit, um, depending on light and stuff like that in your room. So sometimes your controller can wig out a little bit. I've had that Ooh, a handful of times, it, maybe. Like the bullet out of the way, yeah. so it was coming. Um, but in the, so your standard version of the game, it's literally just use your, your analog sticks to look at something, press a button, throw it, and it'll always hit. That's cool. Like it is really cool. Awesome. Um, I would definitely suggest anyone that's got VR grab this. You can get the standard game and the VR for thirty bucks on PSN. Nice. And that's both of them. It is so worth it. Is hands down the best VR game I've played. Yeah. Sweet. All right. I haven't played Blood and Truth or whatever it's called, um, but I heard that's just as good. Brayden, let's go some news. Did that change? We've got a new title screen. What? Oh, Dan made a new title screen for news for us. No, I didn't. Oh, didn't you? Just then, while he was sitting there. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, it's time to talk about news. Guess what? E3 is no longer happening. <gasps> That's right. Uh, E3 has been cancelled for 2020 for reasons that we can't yeah. talk about because we get uh, lost in the algorithms. Okay. Uh, so, uh, bad times. Uh, Xbox and Ubisoft have already said that they're going to have some kind of online event. I've got a little bit more information about that later on in the news. Uh, Nintendo, of course, only ever really do their big Nintendo Direct for uh, the E3 period and have a little store where you can play things. Um, this is absolutely crazy. This is a console launch year. Uh, we're looking at having games delayed maybe consoles delayed. We've already had the um, PC Engine Mini being uh, put on hold. What? Yeah. I didn't uh, know they were making one of them. <laughs> yeah, but that, that, maybe that's why it got delayed. It doesn't matter. Have you ever played a PC Engine? No. Then shut your mouth. They're uh, wicked. Uh, yeah, so um, it, it's actually a, a big deal. Like, all right, usually we get announcements and we'll still get those announcements and everything will come out but this is the time where game devs get a chance to sort of like walk around meet and greet and talk to each other and and deals are made and and things are struck in sort of hotel rooms it, it's a massive networking arena and that's just not going to happen this year so that's going to put the whole industry back a bit um whether or not things clear up and they can sort of start to do this later on in the year maybe e3 holds something later on in the year we we don't know um as for if it will be back, uh, I well, we were started to talk about this beforehand, we but uh, we'll continue it now. Personally, I think uh, E3 should look at this as a bit of a uh, get out of jail free card. Uh, they were having a lot of troubles leading up to this. They had Sony pull out again and and pretty much not go back, and and they openly said it was because of the way that uh, E3 was being run. It wasn't conducive to them launching a console. Yeah. Um, you had Jeff Keighley, who's been at it for years, well, even since the start, who used to run the Coliseum, which is where they have Judges yeah. Week and all that. He said, right, I'm not doing it anymore because of the way it's being run. You had I Am 8-Bit, who were in charge of the floor design and the look of E3 as a whole. They pulled out a week ago <laughs> and said, oh, we're not doing it anymore. Um, so it was looking like it was going to be a little bit of a disaster. So what I'm hoping is that uh, the ESA will take this opportunity to save face and not have it this year, actually sit down, work something out, come back next year as bigger and better. I think basically they need to work out whether there are packs and a convention or whether they're a trade show, and they need to stick to that. They can't be this hybrid of both because it, the message just gets lost. People don't enjoy it. When they first, we were we reported it when we were just a podcast. Dan and I were talking about how they opened the doors to the public, and there was three and a half thousand tickets, and they didn't sell out. No, they didn't sell out for the first time ever. They've got Pax West. They've got Pax East. They've got uh, what's the other one that's open to public? 
Is the GDC open to public? I think the GDC is. Yeah. There's the, the think game developers cer conference. Certain presentations at GDC. Like they don't are need public. another public. But one. they've also got Gamescon. You've also got the Tokyo Game Show. These are big things. Yeah. Um, they which need to are... be a trade show or go all digital. Look, uh, I'm so going. Think... I've got my opinions. <laughs> no, you don't. Um, I think no matter what, they're because they've been cut off at this real late point. I think they would have put too much money into it now, and I think they won't know. Even if they want to come back, how the way they way they want to come back. If if they want to come back as the show that they are now, they won't be able to. They've they have bled too much money now. This may be the thing that's put them completely under because you can't come back from like this close to an event where you put that much money in, and you're not even in an event that's running but like. They'd have insurance. Yeah, but like. Do they? Do you mean? Well, who who do you mean as they? Do you mean like the developers the themselves? So, I mean, I mean, kind of just ESA who runs E3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So people like Sony, uh, Nintendo, any of the people that have booze there pay through the teeth to get those things and that floor space and that time. But they have space. to give all that money back. Yeah. So, so that's what I mean. So for people like PlayStation, for people Sony, sorry, for people like uh, Microsoft, uh, EA, all those guys, they're going to save so much money. Mm. They're going to do a digital stream that is going to get to more people at a probably better time. Uh, they're going to uh, own their conversation because they can choose when to launch it, which is another thing. Why lump all your fish in the basket and release something at E3 when every other company is releasing something, yeah. when you can do what Nintendo has done with the Nintendo Direct and release it whenever you want. When yeah. Nintendo has a, a Nintendo Direct, they go, hey, come back to you tomorrow, we've got something for you. And they own the conversation for that time. I feel as soon as Nintendo and what's the other, what's the PlayStation one called? Uh, State of Play. State of Play started coming out. I looked at them and went, "There's no, re uh, it's not, a, not necessarily a good thing, but there was no." I saw them and I went, there's no reason for these companies to put so much money into announcements anymore in no, these physical no. events. Correct. Um, we got some people in the chat who were like, really want they don't want the death of another physical um, gaming thing, but I think. With the push, as I was talking to you earlier about this, the push with Xbox going like, uh, they're not in the console wars, they're in the, the user wars, as we call them now, as in like, active users is more important than selling consoles, mm. might well, be that's now. that's the spin they're putting the other thing Yeah, is... that's the spin, but this is the same thing. This is like, this is like the, 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 the event, the conversion of that, where if it goes digital, and it also opens up to everyone. I've never been to an E3, but if I if if it's a big digital event, I will be going to E3 because that that is it. So, would you rather visit E3 in VR? No, no, <laughs> no. I don't no, want to well, visit. Only any... if I can do it like super hot and shoot everyone. Yeah, I don't want to visit anyone in VR because I don't have, sure I'd only be there for don't five minutes. Don't say that type of stuff with an LA-based convention, right? Um, no, I I think Ooh. it comes back to whoops uh, <laughs> the fact that. Like times are changing, um, as as being said in the comments, uh, E3 has refused to evolve, uh, and we see this over here with some of the other cons that we have in Australia. I don't feel it's refused. I just think it's like it's gotten to the point you can see here. It's like a bloody. It's a, it, they built a whole town inside of this thing. It was a great thing. It's just it's just the landscape of how people think has changed. Yeah. Well, as Floppy and I've been saying, they need to decide what they are. Are they a convention? Are they? A trade show. We've got enough conventions. We've got the Game Awards, which We've is a digital so only thing. Like, E3 has kind of lost its relevance, and they need to look at a way that they can reinvigorate themselves, and this may be what they need. This, this is it. This is the time. They decide what they're going to do, what they're going to be, and they need to go with it, or they, they need to just fade away. I think they're going to come back small and just be a developer thing again. It needs and to be. That's because what Because developers need anyway. this. They need those meetings. They need those, like, you know, things where they get to meet everyone and, and do all that. And it starts small. And then, and then they'll probably go. You know what? Bringing people into it as the public, it didn't actually help anyone. No. Yeah, so like, how how is the best place? What is the best way to view E3 as a consumer? Online, online. yeah, always, exactly. ha always has been. Uh, E3 was a developers gig. It was developers. It wasn't. It was a trade show. Uh, when they no, it wasn't developed. It was more sales people. Sales, to try and yeah, pitch it was their, a trade show. It was yeah. a trade show. It wasn't for general public. No, never had to be. So putting that as a digital or backward trade show is not losing anything for the general public because something I don't think we needed or should have had in the first place. Mm. We've got that already in PAXs and and other conferences. And do you know what we won't get? What really really bad acting um, announcements where they get like an actor like in Vin because they can do it digitally oh. and if, it, if they'll do it before and they'll go, hang on, that's that was crap. terrible. Let's do something else. You know what I mean? Like, mm. It'll be it'll be. Unfortunately, yeah. it also means we won't get any more of the horrible stuff ops that happen. Yeah, like I when, did like uh, Microsoft in 2013. Difficulties and everything. Yep. They're cool. Just Microsoft talking about TV. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Rock coming. Oh no, that was a GDC, wasn't it? Yeah. Whoops. Um, but yeah, I, I think if you look at it one way, um, you've got. Uh, you put me off with your waving. Uh, <laughs> We're waving at the chat because we can't say hello. Brayden. Hi, uh, Pixel. <laughs> <laughs> he hates this so much, Ben. I'm trying to make I, a very poignant. Uh, I, on one moment. hand, you got something. What do you got? And, uh, I actually meant for Brayden to, to type it. No, <laughs> <laughs> what I would like to point out <laughs> if I was bringing out a game, would I spend all this money to get a booth? and let people wait in line for three and a half hours, which was the average in 2019, to play 15 minutes of that game, or release a video in my own time and go, hey, there's a free demo, check it out. You'll get more people You'll get more it. interaction more. with that demo. Definitely more eyes on it. When it comes to E3, digital is better. When it comes to physical media, physical is better. When it comes to conventions, obviously that's better. For E3, I think digital is better. Maybe that Final Fantasy demo was going to be at E3, and Coms they was. just pulled pushed it out when they weren't going to be there. Maybe I was going to be there. No. No, I know, but like... <laughs> but that's the kind of thing. Like, that Final Fantasy demo might have been uh, held that on Final to... Final Fantasy demo was at last year's E3. Yeah, I know, but you know, I'm, I'm doing it as an example. Something like that might have been held to play at E3, but now the whole world gets to play it. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, what else has happened in this world? Oh, me knocking the mic is what's been happening. Is it my shot? No. No, it's news. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Reggie Philomaze has got himself a new job. He's now the head honcho of GameStop while he's on the board of directors. <laughs> yeah, but um, he'll do one day a month. <laughs> <laughs> this is Cyber Reggie. Uh, this was a promo from way back when. Like, That's so Reggie. good. That is so good. <laughs> he's the best. I didn't know what this was. Guy. You told me to download this, and I was like, what is it? And <laughs> the like, board hang on. At first, I thought it was just some stupid thing, but then I'm like, hang on. That's Reggie. Reggie's making this. This yeah. isn't just like. I love that he's afraid. He's not afraid to take the piss out of himself. Yeah. yeah they, 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 what did they call him? Is his last name like, made into Phil a Philomech. Philomech. Yeah, Phil Phil Mech. Mech. Anyway, he's uh, now on the board of directors for GameStop to hopefully bring that company around because it is bleeding money over there as people go more and more to digital pur uh, purchases. Is it though? Uh, well, I'm talking to you a minute about that. Uh, are the odds stacked against him too much or can he turn around like Nintendo America? Floppy, this is your area of expertise. Is it though? No, uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> I guess what it comes down to is do we... Do we look at media hype, or do we look at? Well, this is the internet, so yes. Yes. Okay. So media and then we hype get outraged. Me... But what's he? What's he doing? He's a. He's on the board of directors for GameStop. A board of directors. Yeah. yeah. They don't do anything, do they? Well, they make decisions. They 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 influence. The they offer advice. I was going to say the best explanation I heard was on uh, Games Daily. Kind of funny, Games yeah. Daily. They um, basically said it's like the highest tier of like consultant yeah. you can get. Well, he looked. He did a lot of good work for Nintendo. Mm. He's a smart guy. Mm. Uh, I would say that. Do you no know what he did before Nintendo? Oh, you know what I do, but I've forgotten. Domino's Pizza. Yes. Hey, no. And look at. Well, he delivered him. Look yeah. <laughs> In his little Mario Kart. He just killed that lady. Yeah. He well, did. she. Oh. So, like, is it going to be good for GameStop? Uh, I don't man. think it's going to be bad for GameStop. No? I don't think he's going to do anything bad that's going to hurt them. I oh, know, he just killed uh, that lady. I mean, well, she might have been really crap at her job. Well, it depends what position they've actually put him in. They've probably put him in a position where it's just like, okay, you you invigorated Nintendo, you gave it this fun spin, yeah. you, 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 you bought, um, you, it was like Reggie was like a family member and it made Nintendo feel closer to you as a thing. And you know what we are? We are the it. most alienated thing in the entire... Like, no, we, like, people think of us as this shell of a thing that no one really likes. Not just that, but look at GameStop. So GameStop and other companies that runs in other countries are, are top dog in their, in their field. Everyone loves to have a crack at the top dog, don't they? That's true. Doesn't matter who's on top, they'll they'll pull them down. They want and to that's down. why no one will ever have a crack at us. I didn't know because we, we live in Australia, dog. so we have an we have EB. We games. have EB. So does Canada. But, but EB Ga GameStop used to be called EB Games. No, GameStop bought EB Games. Yeah. Oh, that's what. Happened. That was a different company. Okay. Canada, Australia, New Zealand. Yeah, um, I just think it, it's probably a great move from them because GameStop, all I, I don't know much about GameStop, all I hear is bad stuff because all you hear is people complaining. Yeah. That's all you hear. But I assume they brought him in to just, to just family it up a bit and make it a, a nicer place and make oh, it a more approachable like place. Well, get some ideas on yeah, how to ideas. actually sell their, um, <laughs> their, business. their brand. Is this yeah. still going? Like they've, tried so to se they've tried to sell GameStop numerous times and no one's I bought it. I think it was it. twice and they yeah. didn't buy it. So but then there was, what, there was a guy that, I can't remember, he was a, there's some guy that's the big stockbroker guy where he buys and sells Donald stock. Trump. 
Nah, not that guy. Anyway, it's oh, boring. Who cares? Uh, so that's what he's doing. Up. Speaking of Nintendo, uh, Nintendo and Lego teased a crossover and then later announced it uh, between themselves. And and we got this today, right? And, like this, this is it. This this is Nintendo oh, Lego. What, what can I ask? Have you what not was, seen this, Braden? What, what? No. What was, what was, I was expecting from this? I was expecting a Lego game. In set in Mario World. No, okay. I was expecting uh, play sets. I, I was not. I thought it was just going to be like the Minecraft one where you just build stuff. But yeah. that, they've incorporated a little computer in it. There's invisible coins that he can grab. He looks terrible. What? He does look like a big box man, doesn't he? Like, um, it looks like he's got a, 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 um, a, a, a slot machine on his chest. <laughs> <It's honestly, laughs> what are they called? A, a, um, yeah. One Armed Bandit. One Armed Bandit. One Armed Bandit. I was legitimately expecting a Lego game. You know, Lego... Star Wars, Lego, Avengers, all that sort of stuff, but as Mario. That's, I was yeah. expecting it to come out on the Switch. That's what no, I thought it was going to be. It's toys. It's toys. Now it's they terrible. Had, Nintendo had... Um, See what happens when Reggie leaves? <laughs> they had... <laughs> that was quick. They had... Downhill. Oh, they had a uh, disclaimer down the bottom with... Uh, <laughs> I was about to do that too. <laughs> uh, with, with a uh, thing saying, as seen in the latest Nintendo Direct, and people sort of highlighted this and went, <laughs> What? 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 Uh, so what it was, uh, people uh, that found out that there was supposed to be a Nintendo Direct on March 10th, which was Mario Day, that got cancelled due to uh, delays that are no doubt happening to some of the games that they're making, so we may get a Nintendo Direct soon. Has anyone ever, did anyone ever hear of Mario Day on March 10th before this yeah. year? I'd never heard of it. Yeah, I, and I, do you know how long it took me that it was Mario, like March oh, it 10th? It took me a good five minutes. Oh, dude, it took me like two days. I would say that at that <laughs> point, though, for that five minutes, I had the thing in front of me on a computer screen staring at me in the face. I still didn't get it. Hey, Brayden, how good are boomers? Ben is so hurt. <laughs> Turkeys. Uh, but this isn't the first time Nintendo has delved into the Lego realm. Back in the really? 60s, yeah, Nintendo released, when they were a toy company, released their own version of Lego called NMB Blocks. We got, uh, and I've we got, got proof. We've got proof up here. Uh, Braden's just about to bring whoa, it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But it, was, it was basically Nintendo, uh, well, it was, it was Lego, but it was rounded at the sides. And Lego actually sued Nintendo way back then. For, was it uh, the connection? Because yeah. they, they patented like a yeah. whole heap of connections. Nintendo won. Is it not working? It, it was no, Lego was already big. I'm yeah. trying to find it. What bit is yeah, it? Yeah, Lego was huge back then. It's back in the 60s old, and 70s. Old Lego huge now, but Nintendo Lego. But it, was no already, it would have been bigger than Lego. Nintendo back then, yeah? I'll find it. Oh, it does, it's not important. The news item's over. Oh, Dan's gone. I'll get his, co get his coffee. No. Oh, I really it's gone. Want coffee. Uh, so, yeah, you can even see it in Super Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy. There's a Lego level. And I've only just had it pointed out to me recently. No, it's an NMB level, and that's what the NMB on the blocks are as you play that level. I, I always wondered that as a kid. Yeah, wow. And yeah, that's, really that, cool. that's what it is. That made it cooler now. It's a cool back to them. Uh, Shannon Studstill has left Insomniac Games for Stadia. Why? Uh, so we... Uh, yeah? I remember my call. Stadia's going to make a comeback. Well, Ooh. they're trying very, very hard. Helicopter. Um, so, Shannon Studstill, you may have seen in the Raising Kratos... Uh, thing that came up, came, thing that came out, documentary that came out with Colin yeah. Barlog a year after God of War, uh, was released and met with <coughs> critical acclaim. Uh, she was the driving force behind the studio. Uh, clearly a very intelligent lady and clearly um, one of the masterminds behind it. Um, she leaves Santa Monica... Uh, she led the team for Santa Monica, I've already talked about. At Google, she's taking Stadia um, in other directions, uh, taking it more seriously. She will recruit people for exclusive Stadia games. I didn't think I vamped very well then when I was trying to find Is my position. Stadia or Stadia? I always thought it was Stadia. Case. Well, I've got it's like a stadium, but it's like when people say Lego. It's I wrong. say it's Lego. This is a thing we know. Ben says words different. I say words different because I was raised by um, what, owls, very proper <laughs> English-speaking aristocratic. So they say Lego too. No, they they used to. I'm going to beat the crap out of both of you. How about that? Did I say crap right? Let's How many find views out. would we get for that? I don't know. Send I'll off I'll in the comments it. below I'll if you want to see Ben beat the crap out of Floppy and Dan at the same time, Go. and I can. He can. He's skilled in the uh, arts of crap beating. Crap beating. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima <laughs> has had its release date out June 26, which is a month after Last of Us Part 2. This looks hard, this game. Yeah, I got it. It's uh, really look, hard. The storyline trainer looked great. Oh it's, story, it, oh, it's so good. Yeah. You seen this, Dan? Yeah. Looks good. You good. like Dan? <laughs> no, 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 I, I was just watching it. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, the, I, I'm, I'm still not 100% sure what the game is like. It's a revenge, I mean, they're, they're, revenge thing. Yeah, but like actually the core game play. Like I think the game I play... think it's going to be like an Assassin's creed type thing. You're going to is have... it open world or open area? I, I believe it's open world, I think. I also believe it's open world. Like from the past gameplay trailers we've gotten when there's like sweeping shots where they're like across a massive landscape yeah, like... looking out on the horizon and like riding their horse along and everything. Like it looks pretty crazy. Mm. I hope so, anyway. Anyway, the storyline is that Kublai Khan has taken over or is ta in the process of taking over Japan. For those of you who know your Japanese history, uh, Tsushima was a small island off the coast of Japan that Kublai Khan took over and used as his base of operations to try and launch an attack on Japan. However, it was wiped out by a tsunami. And that's why Kublai Khan did not take over Japan. Bloody big that salami. was the start of the video game industry. <laughs> Correct. And um, here we are. Um, <laughs> what I would like is if... Uh, well, I don't know if there is an option, but it'd be really, really cool if you could make this black and white and turn on subtitles. And make it sort of like Why a, would you a, turn on subtitles? Because I like Hikiro Kawazawa films. I'd rather watch the films than have to read them. Yeah, the I, I the mean, I, yeah, I, I, like, I like English. Okay, that's um, right. I speak it. I can understand it. Well done, it. congratulations. But, but, you two like something different from me. Let's move on. Yeah, but, but, I, say, but I also enjoy my uh, my, <laughs> my subs ones as well. It just depends on us. I'm it. shocking with subs. I, just, I, I actually don't like, care if anyone likes it or not. Did it this... Um, what's it called? Um, Ghost, Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. Didn't that and Sekiro get announced at the same time? Yes. Man, and this, Sekiro's gone. Yep. Yeah. Like now. The, the second, the second one's coming out. Well, we it? don't have enough samurai uh, feudal Japan games. I want. And there's another one. Neo. You and Neo? everyone else. Neo. 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 There's that as well. We're, we're, this bit. That was almost racist. Oh, what's though. happening here? That's that horsey bit I was talking about. Oh. See, this needs to be the Assassin's Creed in feudal Japan. Okay. Why have we not had that? Is I don't this know. gameplay? I'll ask Ubisoft. No. Please. It's please. like cinematic shot gameplay. It, that's gameplay. Yeah. No, that'd be a. You know, that'd be a cutscene. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition has been announced for the PC Ooh. and it'll be out later this year. It comes with Frozen Wilds and all other release DLC. This, this is a good... This had to happen. Like, it would be silly of them not to do it. There's so much money for Why it. Why do you think point. it's coming out? Hey? Why do you think it's coming out? Uh, in the PC? Mm. Well, because it's silly not to. It's a good business decision. They'll, they'll sell so many more. Well, I mean, I've got an idea of why it's a good business decision. I'm just interested to see why you guys think they're coming out besides making money. I think that's, the, I think that's, I think that's the, <laughs> the biggest contributing factor is going to be the fact that they'll sell a lot. Yep. Uh, personally, I think it's because they've got a PS5 coming out. Yeah. And as we'll see later in the show, I think uh, Horizon 2 is going to be a launch title. You reckon? So what they're hoping to do is get a whole bunch of PC users to play this game, to Love really it. like this game. Because they know it's good. And then not want to wait three years for the sequel so to be ported over. Do you reckon they're doing it to prep a, uh, a bigger base for Horizon Yes, series? absolutely. I think this is hey, a strategy to get people to buy a PS5. Now do you this reckon is, it's going to be launched? Do you reckon it's going to be like first? I reckon it'll be... This, yep, this is a Sony okay. exclusive, wasn't it, this game? So I think yeah. this is going to be day yes. and date yes. launch. So oh, you mean like... This is going to be... Get your PS5, get Horizon 2 same day. Correct. You reckon? Yep, that's what I'm betting. Is, um, is this... Oh, you get look. Oh, yeah. Um, what were your thoughts, Dan? So this is... A PlayStation exclusive game. Yes. Because yes. everyone went wild when they heard this. They're like, oh my god, all the games are coming over. But... Uh, some did. Some put a uh, shovel through their computer screen. Yeah. So... What? Some... Or through their PS4. Some weirdos on the internet. Yeah, who would have thought? Because they were really uh, upset. What? Yeah. Do we have footage of that? Why no, did they do that? Did it, did it, does it somehow take the game away from them? It ruins their childhood or something. Oh, these people are dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> you heard Thank it here first, folks. And I'm a chilled guy, man. Yeah, I was gonna say I've never heard you get angry about anything. <laughs> if you put your, if you out there in the world, interwebby world, if you put your shovel through a PS4, you're a dickhead. How good is this game? I forgot how good it is. A good eh? shovel. I mean PS4. Dan, will you go back and play a little bit of it with it on PC? <laughs> oh yeah, I'll replay the whole thing. I'll nice. play it again on PS4. I'll play it for the first time. What? I lost my I've copy. Got I lent Are it. you kidding me? You haven't it's, just, it's sitting Go in home my now. Go play. We'll do the rest. What have we got next? I, I <laughs> All right. Next lent on news. Uh, are we finished talking about this one? Yeah. Well, Last of Us TV it. series. No, you're not doing it. Doesn't floppy. sound like yeah, you're playing Horizon. Yeah, you didn't do it. Uh, well, no, no. Go for it. He doesn't have confidence in me. <laughs> All to the news. <laughs> Last of Us oh, TV Jesus series by Chernobyl uh, creator Craig Mazin. That's Chernobyl, mate. Yeah. Chernobyl. This is why you don't do it. And games creative director Neil Duckman. Druckman. <laughs> is underway at HBO. That's Hobo? 
Bye bye. <laughs> okay, so who we want, who do we want to see play Joel and Ellie? I like the rest of the internet think the dude from Game of Thrones should be Joel. Who, which, uh, well, watch, which one? Okay, I don't watch Game of Thrones. Is he in the first season? The ancestral one. He's uh, is he in that first episode the one that's banging his sister, his sister yeah, yeah, in yeah. the tower and the yep. kid falls out? Yep. Yeah. He has a Jamie life. Lannister. Yep. Jamie Isn't Lannister. Is he like heaps young? No. Oh, do you want me to bring up a photo? Yeah, do a hey, photo. Right. Let me find the photo. But uh, grizzled. So do you know like what Jack. I don't think who's going to play? Ellen Page. Oh, God, no. <laughs> because like, they used her likeness without her... She's like, also like 34 now. Yeah, but like without her, like... Yeah, you know, there was a big thing about it. ...thing, and she was like, what the hell? That's me in that game. You didn't ask me, and they, I got nothing like, for that. And they were like, it's uh, just different enough. 10%. And what, I thought it 10%. was her. I actually thought it was thought her it was voice when I was what, like doing it, because it, it sounds like her. Who was her voice? Was that... Um, Ashley Johnson. No, it wasn't oh, yeah. So have we thought about who who should play Ellie? I haven't thought about this. Actually. These two. Yep, there he is. David yeah. Duchovny should play him. Who's the other one? Oh God, no. That <laughs> that is Caitlin Deva. If you will, if you watch the film Booksmart, or mm. she's also in a show. I think it might be on Netflix or something. You watched uh, the film called Booksmart. She is excellent. Dork. Yeah. She's she's such a good actress. I, did, um, this is, I don't know her actually, but see to me, this is one of those Na um, Nathan Drake moments where you don't need a TV show. This thing because the game itself was better. Is the TV show? It, is it, it has such a narrative that it doesn't need to be a TV show. Like, I know, watch it. Doesn't need a TV show. Like why would? Yeah, but you're forgetting money. Can oh, I? Can yeah. I throw in? Can I throw Moon in my name. idea of who should play these people? Yep. Yes. People that have not done something else. I want unknowns. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, unknowns. Yep. Unknowns, I think. Uh, Focus on the acting. Yes. And the actors. Otherwise, if it's someone that's not from a, a, a video game or not an already established character, get someone famous. Because you've already she... got an idea of what they're going to do. Nah, it should only if be game of established people. If, if it's an established character from something else, get an unknown. Yeah. Game of Thrones cast the whole whole show, every Don't single character. <laughs> that, that show and is terrible. And set it in fantasy land. Game of Thrones sucks. Dragons. There's dragons everywhere. And have it. Summer is coming. Boys. Peter Dinklage as... Jason Momoa. As Ellie. As Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> in a really bad wig, but he's still got his beard. And, oh. and, he just, and Khaleesi And he's really just Joel. phoning it in, because he doesn't want to be there. And every every time it cuts to him, he goes, Ellie, we got to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's an actual... It's just someone else acting with the phone. He actually phoned it in with the phone recording. No, <laughs> no that was silly, Dan. Okay, speaking of silly, the Nintendo PlayStation prototype has sold at auction. Now we're crazy. The, nin the nin station. We were, uh, reported on this earlier, but it is sold for four hundred and fifty-one and a half thousand dollars. Now there's no games that this dude can play on this, right? No, you can play Super Nintendo. We games. never wrote down how can much you? we thought we were gonna they were gonna go for. We yeah, I said close to a million. I was way off. <laughs> but what did I say? I can't remember that. Right. In um, the chat, in the chat, if you can remember what we guessed, please please remind us. Um, so I don't know if you know anything about this, but the guy who won it uh, was a gentleman called Greg Greg McLemore. Greg? Greg. <laughs> didn't he have a, Greg, um, on, he Greg. Have a, a museum? Yeah, thanks for reading my notes. Uh, he first made <laughs> pets.com. Is that him? Well, wait until... See see how there's dot points there, Floppy? Mine doesn't go down that far. Well, maybe you should scroll down a bit. There we go. Oh, there it is. Hello. Technology. Um, problem solved. Old man Floppy's oh, going to get it screen. one day. No, he's not. Uh, so, he, Greg McLemore has made Pets.com in the 90s and got a heap of money from it. Uh, so, he uses that money to buy old historical video games items and floppy. I was uh, doing other things in the 90s. What was Pets.com? It was a store, place you went to buy pet food. But legitimately, it, just because of the domain name, he made then squilling. sold it a ton to like saying, Amazon so it's not like or something. A pet, I thought it was like a pet game. No, no, no. It was no, like, no. A, like a no, Nintendo just, or something. He, just like everyone in the 90s, if you got in first and got a really good, good URL, domain, you yeah, sell you it sell for it. millions. Anyway, he did that. He uh, plans to open up a video game museum uh, and put this in. So thank you. That's great. Uh, that's what I wanted for this piece. It's a one-off special. Now, uh, some info has come out about how it actually came to be found because for a long, long oh, this time... This is hilarious. Was, I heard about it. This. It was mythical. Um, so it's a uh, story of how... Uh, Terry Diebold, what a last name. Diebold! Uh, he worked for a company called Advanta, who was making the prototype. And they went out of business. So he purchased a box of stuff from their employer when they went out uh, went out a bit... Uh, went into uh, bankruptcy. That, went out bankruptcy? of business for $75, and this was in it. And he just stuck it up in his attic, and his grandson found it a couple of weeks back. Did and he know went, what it was? He knew exactly what it was. Oh, um, wow. And he's the one who did the auction? Yeah, and he's the one who did the auction, and now it's got half a million dollars. Good for him. That's wow. like a house, I hope he man. shares some of that. 
like with his with his oh, dad, dad, dad yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Nah, it's all, that. so do you reckon, did that company go out of business because this thing didn't go into production i would say it's one of the factors i reckon yeah. if you had sony and nintendo getting you to build something you'd put everything into it wouldn't you well you would but then for them to have a falling out and then just go right deal's dead forget it yeah, we don't care that's what i mean that would have put everything they had this in this what to, to make a miss yeah <laughs> The Sony and Nintendo were going pulled all out, and then pulled out, and then nothing came of it. it. That's what happens when you pull it. And as I mentioned at the top of the show, <laughs> Microsoft has announced a two-day live stream, uh, well, two-day set of live streams. Uh, first one's going to be titled Game Stack Live, and it's a series of live streams which will air on Mixer between March 17 and 18, which is this weekend. Yes. So is this their answer to E3? Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, it is. Well, no, no. This, uh, this was in the lead up the, to two of the their ones from uh, GDC. Yes, uh, yes, oh, sorry. This is yes. the answer to GDC. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Game Developers Conference, which I didn't know about until it stopped Yeah, but you didn't happening. know what TOTS was either. Uh, one yeah, of the talks the is titled oh. <laughs> Xbox Series X and Project X Cloud, New Chapter in Gaming, leading to speculation that we could learn new details about the next-gen console. Uh, and the rest is not important. So I think this is what E3 is going to turn into. These things. Yeah, same here. Yeah, that, no, it should. It's, it's, it's going to be one. Point. It's, it's going to be one hard weekend where everyone just puts them out. Like, yeah, it'll be a Monday, be, Tuesday, Wednesday still. It'll yeah. be that Sunday of E3. Okay. Deals. Oh my lord! Can I have some warning, Christ? Well, you can't. He shouted deals at you. This isn't an ASMR show. Sure. Yeah. I thought you were going to yell at Deals again. Isn't it waiting what? for you to do it. I would never. Deals! <sighs> Christ alive. Yep. Floppy. All right. Deals for today or this week. So if we go in Australian dollars, this is all in, by the way, for overseas viewers. Uh, on the PlayStation Store right now, you can get Sea of Solitude for fifteen ninety five. Has anyone here played Sea of Solitude? No. no, but it was one I had my eye on and then it was met with meh reviews. So I didn't really... Oh, look, I'm going to be honest. I'm gonna wait for it to come out on PS. It is. Uh, <laughs> it is. It can be disturbing. Oh, oh really? really? What is it about? Oh, I think. What is I that think. flying lady? Have you played it? I mm, tiny little little bits. Do you want to give a synopsis or shall mm, I? Not enough. You go. Okay. Oh, very very easily. Uh, easily, quickly. You play a character who is basically rescuing people in your town from depression because they've been turned into giant monsters. Hence, what I'm coming to be touchy. Yeah, it can yeah. be touchy depending on. Uh, People's moods. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it, you know, just got meh reviews, unfortunately. It wasn't like a journey or a, a uh, What Remains of Edith Finch, both of which are wonderful games. It I looks think it great. It came out in the wrong era, though, for it. Like, if it had came out on PS3, it would have been yeah, heaps better. Yeah, it's more like an Abzu, from what I've heard. Yeah. Um, where it like, kind of feels like it's like a... I know what you're trying to do, yeah. but you just didn't yeah. quite get there. Having yeah. said that, if you like games that are not combat and have a bit more of a, a story and a bit more of a... Um, emotional touch. Um, yeah, though. emotional meaning to it, definitely grab it for $15.95. Is it more, is it a bit ham-fisted? Is that its problem? No, I just no. I just think it suffers from gameplay. And you play uh, that issues. kid that he doesn't have yeah, any colour in yeah, yeah. He's just like... So you're rescuing, people, you're rescuing people that have... Uh, their depression has turned them into monsters. All right. There's no been no monsters on screen so far. Oh, it's because it's gameplay of the first level. Yeah. I think it's a tutorial. Uh, next Aww. one. Next deal. Uh, Little Nightmares. PS on PlayStation Store for seven dollars fifty-five. You played this? Grab yeah. this. Grab, yeah. grab Little Nightmares for seven dollars fifty-five. Hundred percent. Little, Little Nightmares, Nightmares is, is fantastic. With the girl and the raincoat. If we can get some footage. No, no, that's Little Monsters. Yeah, we... uh, if we can get some footage of Little Nightmares. So you're a little girl in a raincoat named Six. Yeah, yeah. I, I streamed it. Is... it. I, yeah. I finished it in one stream. Yeah, it is, for, no, it is fantastic. That's the one they're eating people. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. She is the it is a little nightmare. bit disturbing, yeah. so if you have little yeah, kids, there is some footage in there. That's just, like, it's not a... I wouldn't say it's a mature game in the way that it's the gameplay is quite Do that eating, simple. Eating scene. But uh, some of the visuals can be quite disturbing. Yeah, the yeah. The chefs and the things like that. They're, they're, yeah, they're essentially eating people. Uh, have we got some footage? No? Yeah. <laughs> I skipped to the middle and it went straight to a green light comics ad. <laughs> <laughs> is it my footage? Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah, so yeah, so here you go. So here it is. You're, you're six. Uh, little girl in the raincoat. I'd love to say that. Is it a name? Uh, it, yes. They never said it's a girl or a boy. Girl or a boy. Sorry. I assumed. Mm. I always thought it was a girl. I, I thought it was a girl. I thought six was a girl. Uh, to me, that's a girl's name, I guess. But that's... Really non-gender specific. Mm. Uh, but a side-scrolling platformer. Uh, nice. If you like things like, was it Limbo? Yep. Yeah, you'd yeah. Probably like, you'd, if you like Limbo, uh, it is definitely like, give this a crack. This, in my opinion, was better than Limbo. Wasn't as good as Outside. I think more people played would, Limbo. 
this is as good. Like, it's probably it's on par because I remember those like really hard moments. This is like. This had some really scary characters. I remember it now, like the ones where you look around and they've got knives and yeah. like you have to sneak um, past. No, no, this is a great, great game. Definitely pick this up for $7.55 because yeah. a physical copy of this is hard to find. Mm. It is really hard to find. Unless you have a Nintendo Switch. Unless you have that. It's really easy. Yeah. yeah What's dark. the third game in PlayStation? Third game is Dark Souls 3, the deluxe edition for $17.95. Uh, do you like Dark Souls? Do you like to be frustrated and break your controllers? Yes. $17.55. Get Dark Souls. $80 for a controller. <laughs> Everyone wins. <laughs> Bargain. Uh, what's coming to Games Pass, Floppy? Games Pass is going to have Ori and the Will of the Wisps, obviously, because it's a Xbox exclusive, Woo! so it comes day one straight to Games Pass. If you got that, you get that straight away. I have this already. I'm going to download This is a oh. beautiful game. If you haven't played Ori and the Blind Forest, uh, do that as oh, well. Oh, is this a sequel? Yes. Yep. Oh. Yep. So Ori and the Blind Forest was the first one. This is Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Came out... <laughs> Uh, Tuesday? Oh, sorry. No, this one, one came out yep. Tuesday, yep. I think, yep. a couple of days ago. Yep. Um, beautiful side scrolling platformer again. Nice. Metroidvania. Yeah, you, so you can go back to areas and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun. Very beautiful graphics. The depth, actually, what happens in the background is part of the coolest part of this game. I was literally uh, playing some this morning. Oh. This morning. Um, the stuff you see in the background is just phenomenal. The the, the rays of light, the, everything is just it's beautiful. It's great. Mm, I can't um, stream this, so don't talk about it too much. Okay, <laughs> next one: NBA 2K20 and Train Sim World 2020, Sweet. all coming out on the same day. Cool. Next. Um, I don't know how to say the next one without making it sound like I'm heaps Aussie. Uh, Pikanku. Pik Pikuniku. Pikuniku. I'm not. I, I can't say much about this. I don't Pikachu. Know what it is. It's Pikachu. He's coming to Xbox with all his friends. Cool. Come to the Switch. Because <laughs> I don't know anything about that one. Uh, Capcom beat em up bundle for fourteen dollars ninety seven. This sounds like something you know more about than I will. Capcom yeah, it's, beat -em -up it's a collection, much like they did with the Street Fighter. They've got all their beat em ups, um, like King Arthur's World, uh, Fatal, uh, Final mm -hmm. Fight, all that uh, in one uh, cartridge. Oh, one beat em ups. Place. I was thinking of like fighting, and I was like, this isn't a do we know how game. many games are on there? Uh, yep. What's the next game? Uh, next one is Resident <laughs> Evil 19, <laughs> for 1997. If you are a Resident Evil fan, grab this. It's awesome. This is the GameCube port as well. Yeah. Oh, so really? Really one. one. Yeah. Yeah. It's still got tank controls and stuff, but uh, yeah, but it looks great. But oh. it looks great. It's a lot of fun, especially if you're going to get into Resident Evil 3, which is out later this year. Mm. Um, and also, super hot on the Switch. And, yeah, on the Switch for 25 bucks. Uh, if you heard what I said before about super hot, then you don't need to be told why to buy this. Just go do it. Yeah. Brayden. He's just so dreamy. He's a little gem, isn't he? He's just just a Kojima watch time. The climb's ladder's weird, though. Uh, I was looking at Kojima, not Snake. That's because he's dummy thick. Oh, I was looking at Snake. <laughs> uh, Kojima told the New York Times his theory on why there's been mixed reviews of Death Stranding. It's boring. Oh. Quote. <laughs> quote. <laughs> quote. In America, they're used to shooters, so they don't gulp it down. It's, it's okay. Everyone can evaluate what they want. Kojima also added that some of the Metal Gear Solid fans did not like the way Death Stranding handled stealth at first, but eventually they, quote, came around. He says, in three to five years, we'll see what people say. And I agree. End I quote. think, I actually think that Death Stranding is a very nice, very pretty game. Very good for sitting down and not getting too stressed out. It's he a zen-like game. He, just, he did just call it a classic. Like, it's going to be a cult classic. It, it's it will be. be. Oh, His track, track record's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Metal Gear, any of them. Uh, Except for Survive. Yeah. We well, didn't do that. No, we had some input. Did anyway, we? Yeah. Oh. Uh, allegedly. That might just be a, a Konami beat up. I agree. I think... for, for everything, for I didn't like this game. I couldn't get into it. I tried. But I can recognise what it is, and it is, it'll be a classic. Yeah. It'll be 100% be a classic. I may revisit it in a year or so and be in a different frame of mind and really enjoy it. Uh, Dan, you got some people you'd like to thank? Good game. Good game. I do indeed. Game. I'm gonna. Oh, we've already. I'm gonna might do a, a new background for this. Okay. Um, I'd like to thank the Patreons. Um, if you'd like to support us over on Patreon, that would be beautiful. Uh, what we, do they get over at Patreon? They get Dynamo. So the top tier Patreons, you get uh, which is ten dollars um, US a month. You get a show, once a month. You get your own show called <laughs> Dino More, where you can come in. Um, uh, it's a live stream where only uh, Patreons can come into it. Later on, I think a whole month later, normal people get it. Yep. yep. Normal, boring people. Um, 
Bang! Hashtag cancel Dan. And uh, what else do they get, Ben? Because you're better at this than okay, what they get. Okay, so for a dollar a month, <laughs> if you have you know, a dollar a month to spare, you can throw it our way and you get <coughs> access to Dino More before everyone else. So Dino More comes out for everyone on the last day of the month. You'll get it on the first day of the month. If you want to be a $10 a month Patreon, you get an invite to join that live. And we're actually discussing changing up Dino More a little bit more, make it a little bit more interactive, make it a little bit more... What's the word? Drunken? Um, so it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, if you'd like to head over to patreon.com backslash hack the dino, join in. You also get access at any level that you pledge to our Facebook group for Patreons only. Now, when you do do that, you do do. Wee wee! Don't uh, you want to give these people money? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. the taste of the drunken dino more. <laughs> um, you will have to fill out a form which says who you support us as, like what your name is. And it's just so I can verify because we've got people who want to get in there who aren't giving us the cash. And we're about the cash money. And we use that cash money to purchase new microphones. You got a new microphone? Brand new microphone, new mixing desk. Um, there's a really nice pair of gold plated suspenders I'd really like. And that solo gold car that yeah. I want. Yeah. Uh, anyhow. And as part of being a ten dollar Patreon, you get thanked every um, show. Yes, yeah, so, so this is our top tier Patreon. So thank you to Sam Beard, to Ashraf, to Floppy, to <laughs> Henry Gupta, to Todd Randall, to Tommaso. I saw Tommaso today uh, oh, this who, week. How's he going? He's all right. Oh, he's a man. He uh, was our very first Patreon. He had, he says he had to lay back from work because it was getting too much for him. So he's not he's not screen printing as much. He's a hard working um, man. To, thank you to Michael Towns who actually went above and beyond and just paid way more than ten dollars. Michael good. Towns is just an amazing human being. And he should all be like more like Michael Towns. I'm surprised pretty. he's not in the chat actually. He's usually. Front and center. Oh, well, thank you to Karen Knight, thank you to Ash Knight, and thank you to Dylan Stevens. Who, uh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank Dylan. You. And just... also, if you are a Patreon, head on over to our Discord at bit.ly backslash hack the dino. You get a nice gold title so you can brag to everyone else there that you pay us money for privilege. Really cool community on the Discord, too. It is. I'm, it's I'm great. Love everyone that chats on this. All right. Tots! Pokemon! Yes, I'm doing that every show. Oh, I forgot how long that was and I kept my eyes wide open for the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, okay, topic of the show time. This week, I would like to talk about and give our predictions of what the launch games are for next gen. So we're just going to give three picks. Uh, we're going to give our pick for Xbox and PlayStation 5 for launch day, which is same day, same date. Launch window, which is the first three months after launch. And the first year. So what games we think will come out then. Dan, do you want to kick it off with launch day for Xbox? And remember, though, if you're in the chat, put up your predictions. And yeah. We might say them. We Possibly. We should have interacted with the chat a little if bit. I like them. Um, launch day. Me. Xbox. Halo Infinite. Infinite? Inf in in That's a good choice because it's already it's been, been announced. Confirmed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you choose that after it being confirmed? I think you did. Well, I, yeah, well, yeah, it's called research. <laughs> I knew it was going to be confirmed. There wasn't a thing yeah. saying games that we that haven't been announced. So oh, I, I kind of took it as games that hadn't been announced. Oh, really? Thought, yeah. All right, like, then oh, I chosen. will do. No, 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 keep, right. it. no, no, no keep it. No, keep it. So, Halo. Who likes bad. Halo? Anyone yeah. gonna? Yeah, I like Halo. Are you a Halo man? I I enjoy Halo. I didn't go. I have didn't you played Halo every? Have you played all the first person ones? Uh, I played the first three. So yeah. Uh, what number is this? Is this Halo Six? Oh, yep. uh, well, hang on, yeah, five, six, and then there was the Halo Wars, there was Halo Reach. Yeah, the chat's going, obviously, Halo, so let's move on, because yeah. I just got, I just got, I came to Halo late, but I like it. <laughs> uh, what about PlayStation 5, Dan? What's PlayStation day? 5, so I've just put, uh, once again, I'm going to ruin cheat. it. Cheat, yep. He's going to cheat, yeah. I feel they're going to do a bunch, I, I couldn't think of anything that was just going to be, like, purely for PlayStation, like... Can I point something really obvious? You say your thing, and I'm going to point out something really obvious. Yep. Okay. Nice what is it? No, you say what you pick. Well, I the, just thought they're just. Is this going to be a bunch of? Uh, they're gonna. They're gonna open with not nothing, at all. I thought they're just going to have a bunch of cross-platform games. Which are what? Cyberpunk, Last of Us, and Ghost of Tsushima, which are all coming out on PS4, which will all work on the PS5 anyway. Yeah, that's what I mean. But I reckon that's what they're going to push for the most of their. Dan stuff. doesn't think they're going to have any brand new launch titles for PS5. Oh, they're that's only, They're going to do what Xbox are doing and not have any PS5 or Xbox Series X exclusives. They're just gonna have. I don't think they're gonna do that. I know, they probably I won't, but I'm calling it. <laughs> well, Catacoke. 
I don't buy Coke. Don't! No. You can't do that ah, anymore! Look at that! You can't do it anymore! Wash, wash your hands, Coco! Oh. Oh. Don't do that. My turn. Uh, for Xbox, I'm thinking <laughs> Forza that... Horizon 5 as my day and date title. That's a good, one. That's a good uh, one. It's been a couple of years since Forza Horizon came out. Uh, it's sort of uh, like their... 2018? Yeah, they're, they're graphically in... Oh, I reckon it's 2017. Now, I, I don't know if I got the right no, Forza I think... footage here because there's so many of them. That looks like motor... Dan, you got car footage? That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> you got pretty car footage. Uh, Forza Horizon has always uh, prided itself on its visuals, on its graphics, and I think no better way to show off what the uh, 12 teraflops of power can do. You rang? Sorry, what? Oh, Teraflops. We've got a couple of people agreeing with you in the chat about this Forza. I reckon the order goes uh, Forza Horizon, mm -hmm. Forza Motorsport, no, you, you Year Off, or something like that. Who cares? It's a car game. It's I care off because of my pick. <laughs> All right, uh, and then PS5, I've already mentioned before, but uh, Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Uh, I think it makes sense for Horizon Zero Dawn 2 to come out now. As I said Such before, we discussed they're it. releasing it for PC. You might as well cash in. Get, I think it's a marketing move to put it on PC so people will buy PS5s to get Horizon that makes, Zero Dawn When you say it like that, it makes a lot of sense. This game Such is a good game. chronically you game good. Eh? Yeah, like, so good. And it's not going to be called Horizon 1 Dawn or anything? No, it'll be Horizon what is that, Dawn two, 2 or something. What is it? Horizon 2 Dawns? Because there's going to be... What, did you hear about two, that thing? Yeah, no. yeah. Two Horizon it'll 2 Dawns. Like two Dawns, like two people. Two, two, two Dawns, two, two serious. Two antagonists named Dawn. Oh, oh, yeah. What did they, they say on the other one? It was like Dawn and Don? Yeah, two Dawn. Uh, my pick for Xbox, I think Forza Motorsport 8, because I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, Horizon Zero, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Forza, Forza Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, that's the one. Cross <laughs> Aloy's got a car and she's going to burn some rubber. Yeah, because I think Her Forza Horizon was the last one that we had and Forza Motorsport 7 was before that. So we're... Raiden. Yep. Can you check out what came out last? Horizon Forza or Motorsport? Game. What's I'm pretty the, sure. What's the Forza that is on um, Games Pass at the moment? Like the. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm I Game played Pass. that the other day. I don't know. So I'm going to do it. Is it arcadey or is it simulation? It's pretty arcadey, but like it, the opening of it blew me away. You, you, are you like, in England or are you in Australia? Maybe you should let Dan talk. Wait up. <laughs> so Sorry. You, uh, <laughs> you start, you, you load the game up, and then like it just has a, a, a very small short cut scene. And then it just zooms out of the car in the cutscene, and suddenly you're playing. There's no menus, no nothing. And then you race through all the seasons, like summer, autumn, winter. And as you jump, it changes car and then changes seasons and hits. And you play all four seasons. And it's the most exhilarating, amazing moment, like, I opening of any car game I'd ever played. And it looks bonkers. And then I stopped playing it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do an epic crash first? No. That's Forza Horizon 4, but it's all set in England. It's amazing. Yes, Brad. And, all right, so the, the thing you wanted to know, so Forza Motorsport 7 came out in 2017. Forza Horizon 4 came out in 2018. Forza Street, which is a weird spin-off, I don't know, came out in 2019. And then Wikipedia also, for some reason, lists an untitled Forza Motorsport game to be announced. What yeah, if, oh, but that's Wikipedia. I know. Yeah. Uh, so gonna, I'd say we're, in, we're up for Forza. Uh, I'm going to call, hey. call the lame here. What does Forza mean? Uh, strength. For it's Italian for strength. Oh, okay. uh, I always say Forza. I know it's, it's wrong. So it's it, called strong motorsport. Italian for force. Yeah. Strength. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and my pick for PS5 is Gran Turismo. Can I just bring up the same footage? Or? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> just generic car footage. Uh, <laughs> Good job, Brad. Now this is Gran this Turismo. Is, we have we only had one Gran Turismo title on PS4. I think we'll have it launch day for that Gran Turismo one PS5. man. That and two that took the world by storm of car dudes. Like I uh, I tried it, I couldn't play it. But it, it, and this is what it reminds me of. It was these red and white you know edges. Yeah. And that was just Gran Turismo to me. That's all it is. So when I saw this, I'm like, yeah, it's Gran Turismo. It's got the red and white edges. You know, on the edge of the tracks. But people got so deep into this car dudes yeah. man. Like. Like adjusting the suspension, yeah, and it was spin. I couldn't even play it. I couldn't even win a race. I was like, well, "Why do you not smash the other people?" Because <laughs> like, it's not burning. Where's out, the man. loops? Where's my guns? <laughs> <laughs> All right, launch window first three months. What games do we think will come out for both Xbox Series X, the sex box, and PS5? <laughs> first three months. Me? Yep. Hellblade Two for Xbox Series X. Uh, again, this has been confirmed, Dan. <laughs> But like, there's no date. 
Is it? I mean, true, unless it gets delayed. Technically, you're correct. And technically, correct is the best kind of correct. I'm assured by people. Uh, uh sure. Well, have we... There isn't much. Oh, I didn't realize you wanted games that aren't actually coming out. <laughs> That's all right. No, I, I think we've, we've shown the oh, type of... Legs. of uh, game uh, bloggers that we are, uh, those who do research and those who don't. Oh, someone in the chat said Gran stuff. Turismo Twisted Metal Edition. I'd Ooh, play that. I'd play that. That would be cool. Someone and also said Battlefront Remaster for PS5. Now that's... No, <laughs> but that's one of those That's one of those ecosystem games that exists outside of the uh, the, the game. It, it, it... You go into that game. That game doesn't need a console. That game will just get better and it'll just be on the next console. I don't know what you're talking yes? about. Yes? What if Gran Turismo Twisted Metal is just Twisted Metal, but it's a car sim? So like, all, everything's super complicated to control and everything, and you've got to worry about your suspension and stuff. Well, but then trying you're to also shoot trying people. to like, murder other people. And you've got a, a big crazy... What's your PS5? Oh no, Dan's just to do his PS5. Oh, do you oh sorry. It no, and no, it's, it's almost like I, I've got... Uh, well now I, I feel embarrassed, because this is also anymore. another one they've announced. <laughs> Outriders. Okay, uh, so mine are... <laughs> no! <laughs> I want to talk about Outriders. Has what? anyone seen this? This is crazy. I haven't actually seen this. So this is um, it's it's like a who is this? What Wally? It's a cover shooter. Um, four player. You're in it together, and something happens to you. You guys all get powers. It, so it's got that kind of um a Borderlands thing. You can see the numbers going off. Um, you've all got these weird different powers that you can combo together and stuff. And just looks great fun. It came out of nowhere as well. The footage I got is rubbish. <laughs> the end. Go, Ben. Xbox Series X. I'm predicting launch window. We're going to kick it off with a big one and go GTA 6. How confident are you in this? I got some footage of it as well. Not very. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it just... It seems right. I mean, GTA Online is the most successful video game monetary-wise ever. Uh, it just keeps making more and more money. There's no reason to do a GTA 6. Yeah, as I was thinking. Uh, but why not? It's another one think? of my ecosystem arguments. Like The, the game is just going to get better. G GTA Online is going to be the next GTA forever. It's never going to go away. Or if they do a 6, is it just going to be a game for... Is it going to be like a Destiny or a, or a, or a well, Division? Well, it's pretty much that now. Brandon? Can you see it sort of being a, hey guys, GTA, no subtitle for online or anything, is on Xbox and PS5, well, and I mean, yeah. then it's just a case of, cool, and every couple of years we're going to add uh, a story city, mode. A city. Yeah, it's like a games of service thing. Yeah, like, yeah, like what they've done with Destiny. Fortnite, they'll do a season and just completely redo yeah. the map. I can see that happening. Switch over to a new engine and whatnot. I don't know if it'll happen that soon. But uh, PS5, launch window. I'm going to put my hat in the ring for Spider-Man 2. So that's very plausible. Because we know that they're making it. Go on the chat, GTA Twisted Metal Edition. <laughs> <laughs> GTA is Twisted Metal Edition. Um, so yeah, I, I think like it was always going to happen. Okay. They had the DLC there. Um, yeah, it, it, I'm predicting the first three months we'll see Spider-Man 2 come and do whatever a spider can. Floppy! Oh, first three months for Xbox, I've got an Assassin's Creed game. Just, just... just for Xbox? or I think it'll be timed exclusive. What Ooh, one? What, what, boy. What, what one is this footage I got? Uh, so this, this here is, is the latest one. Yeah, this is Odyssey. Odyssey, yes. Yeah. But this is the tutorial oh. uh, program. Uh, because that, I've... That's the lady, isn't it? Zora, it was, what was her name? Alexander. Uh, no, was it Zora? No, that's Alexios and Cassandra. Cassandra. Yes, yeah, Cassandra. I did yeah. actually play this game recently. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is the tutorial mode where it. you can walk around ancient Greece and uh, talk through, um, yeah, history of it. it is, is, it, is it still Ezio's It was just like a, a museum no. type, a, a, a nah. tour thing, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can go around and learn it. It was actually really cool. Yeah. Uh, and what do you think for, for PS5? PS5? I think we'll see Bloodborne 2. Now, is it, like, because obviously we listen to a lot of the same podcasts and a lot of the hosts who we listen to are obsessed with Bloodborne. Is Bloodborne getting a revival? It's a five-year-old game. I think it's coming back now. Is it I having think, a revival or I is it just so. the, the crowd that we listen well, to? Well, I don't know. Um, it's an amazing game. I think it's gotten a little more interest in the general public with the, just the, the interest that rocks up in the Dark Souls style of games. Uh, they had Sekiro or Sekiro, however you like to call it, come out. So they're going back and playing some of the ones that came out like that. At the start of the generation, Bloodborne. And Dark Souls. Has Bloodborne been free on PS Plus? Uh, yes. Yes, it has. Oh. Yeah, it has. 
So I think we're going to see Bloodborne 2 finally. Okay. Oh, I, 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 cool. I, I think it's... Uh, there's no reason why they wouldn't do it. I mean, they've got three Dark Souls. It's the same dude. I, don't I just Googled it just to see what would come up. Uh, apparently, Bloodborne got 180,000 new players just around, like, December 12th. So it is getting a revival. Yeah. 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 So after Sekiro came out and yeah. everyone went, oh, these hard games are really cool. I love breaking controllers. Michael Towns in the chat, everybody. What a guy. Uh, so, Dan, first year, one whole year, Ooh. what games are you picking? This is ridiculous, by the way. Never My coming way. out. Yep. Never, Never going to well, happen. Again, Does this one fit your, 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 your um, field of... Not yeah, coming it out. Got, it yeah. hasn't got a date. It hasn't yeah, got a they, date. And they've they they openly on. said that Elder Scrolls 6 is becoming before this. <laughs> <laughs> Starfield is going to come out in the first year. In the first year. Oh, they're going to drop it. They're going to drop it. Yeah. They're nah, drop they, it this like, thing is not coming you got out. more chance of them Dude, dropping be, it off their release. It's going to be the first day after the the first three months, the day after the three months. They're going to Three months and one day, they're going to drop a new IP you know that's got no follow I, I do games, I do games that are coming out, I get berated. I do games that aren't coming out, I get berated. <laughs> See, like, no, 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 no. The problem is, your research consists of doing a Google search and picking the first thing that comes up, <laughs> or not doing your research at all and go, oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I just remembered it. <laughs> go What's your PS5 on, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> my 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 PS5 one's a good one, isn't it? I don't know. You tell us. De- De- Demon Souls right. rejiggered. Do you reckon <laughs> that, so, legitimately, are we putting money down on your? That's the name. No, because I'll make a coke <laughs> bet on that. I'll make a coke bet. But it's not going to be that. Yeah. So, De- um, for those who don't know what Demon Souls is, it's the OG uh, one before um, Dark Souls. Dark Souls. His first go at it because it's very Dark Soulsy. Um, I played this one. I really really enjoyed. It. I never finished. It. it was too hard. Um, I may have said I finished it before and I've lied. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just in uh, case you've caught him out already. Yeah, yeah, go, you know, just go back and see me. All right, yeah. We've got, we've got a thread for that in our Discord. I'll back you on this one with the with the Re- recent interest in that style of gaming. Rejiggered? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah so no, no, just remaster. And do you know what? I'm uh, not even a remaster, remaster, like a rebuild, maybe. Or like I would, a Resident Evil 2 rebuild? I would prefer a rebuild, but I would love to play this one again because this one had. You know how like people love the brutalness of Dark Souls. This had it even worse. This was like I actually, it, was, it wasn't completely, it. you know, um, you know, it wasn't wasn't uh, refined as much as Dark Souls yeah. in its hardness. So you had like bits that were just like chronically unfair and awesome, and I really loved it. So these rolling skeletons that would roll towards you, they all made of metal, and like it was in the first like level one of the games, and like I would kill one, and then the Next one would kill me every time, and I went into that so many times. Oh, I work with, uh, with a, a rolling skeleton. Who, no, with a girl who has finished Dark Souls like eight times. She like yeah, knows okay. where everything is. Like, yeah, but everything. once you've done it and you you know how it works, it's not that hard. Actually, I cheated. I was a wizard. <laughs> I just stood back You're at the end of the level and shot all my lightning at everyone and ran and then hid. All right, for my pick for the first year, <laughs> demons to <laughs> souls. Demons to souls. Uh, I'm picking for Xbox. Series X. Oh, I said 360. Xbox uh, Series X. Just as much chance, mate. Yeah, you're coming out with 360. Uh, Minecraft 2, because why not? <laughs> <laughs> like, truth be told, I couldn't think of anything as went, yep, yeah, Minecraft 2. Uh, I think because with the new graphics power, they'll make Minecraft realistic, thus negating the entire point of the game. I, <laughs> I, think, I think they're going to do them. Do, you know do you know what would make the millions of dollars? Minecraft prequel. But it's even worse graphics. <laughs> it's like scratch 3D. <laughs> no, it's like it's like it's not as good. Like those old dungeon crawlers. But like it on has the ray tracing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but it's I got ray tracing. That. But um, this. but How no, it's a, it, 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 it's a mud. You remember the multi-user dungeons? Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like, the it's text just a text-based adventure. Yeah. Uh, and right. put for block here. God, it's good. PlayStation Five. I've mentioned it before. No, I'm. I feel really strongly about this. For the first in the first year, they're going to have Gods of War. And it's going to be, Kratos is going to be even older, and Atreus is going to be even older, because we know, spoiler alert, Atreus is Loki, uh, it's going to be gods, and that's going to be the sequel, Gods of War. Gods of War. Cool. Ch- I'll Townsend back that. in the chat says, Ansem 76. <laughs> <laughs> Zorkraft. And Destiny oh, 3. Zork. Destiny 3 is a good one to think right. about. Floppy. For my first, was this first year? It was first year, first isn't year. it? Uh, for Xbox, I think Beyond Good and Evil 2 is finally going to come out. That's a big call and very realistic. Yes. I think. Can I get I the think right? In the first year, it will come out. I believe so. We When did we first hear about it? Oh, two years ago. E3, two years ago. Twenty? No, it was, I reckon it was three years ago. 
Braden? It came out with that massive uh, oh, cut scene, and then Joseph Gordon-Levitt came on stage and yeah. asked the community to build the game. Yeah, and that's and then no one built it, and I think they're building fine. it now. That's my that's my pick for the. Can Xbox we explain the what this year? game is? Because I don't know what the original was. It's a sequel to Beyond Good. Beyond Good. Yeah, I don't know what the first <laughs> one is. Uh, play it. Well, see, like you've got this good. There's a little bit of evil. evil. You're gonna go beyond that, though. Just, just over what the is bridge. beyond good and evil? Just like beyond be, be, is a be evil? podcast be evil? from IGN <laughs> that uh, stars be evil. And on the PS5, I think they're gonna go for some nostalgia. I think they're gonna get an Uncharted collection. So this is in the first year. So after all the big hitters have come out for the the launch, they're gonna get an Uncharted collection, which is gonna have remastered one, two, three, four, Lost Legacy, and the Golden Abyss from the Vita. You Please. really think publishers are really generous, don't you? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, I, I, I don't see this because... Uh, That's why it's on my pick and not yours. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> True story, can't argue with that. I think they're going to do that. Gonna, yeah, you know, they'll do that, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're right. We won't have a discussion about it. We'll just shout me down. Beyond Good and Evil 2 was announced in 2017. Thought so. All right, Dan versus the World time. Dan versus the World. So, uh, oh. so it's time for Dan versus okay. the world. This is Thank our you. video game music quiz where we have Dan, who represents Dan, trying to guess the, where a song that I'm going to play five seconds. Oh, I've stuffed this up. Three songs, five seconds. Dan will take a guess. Then the world, represented by Floppy and Braden, will take a guess. Back and forth, five turns. So take a guess. Whoever wins gets Can I talk point. about these quickly? Yeah, go for it. So these came, my, we brought a, a Goku outfit for our baby. And this was the free gift that came with it. Can you... Oh, I don't have a Zoom for this one. Uh, wait, let me go to one that does have the Zooms. Um, oh, Superman. Yeah, so... Superman comes Goku. So you can see. <laughs> and like, my wife gave them to me. She said, do you want these? I said, why don't you want them? And she goes, because Superman didn't wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you're Such right. Such a stickler for the rules. What is this? Man, they hurt so bad. <laughs> What's wrong with baby's head? <laughs> it is hurting, yeah. Was it? Okay, here we go. Let's Your go. Eyes are so wide. Let, let's uh, <laughs> let's get this train wreck back on the rails. Oh, oh, boy. Here's classes. the first song. I might hear it. So this is the last episode of Hack the Donic, so I'm gonna <laughs> murder these two. <laughs> song number one. I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Ask um, a question, Dan. Um, what is the um, genre of game? Uh, it is a um, sometimes a two point five D, sometimes a contra shooter. Do you want to guess? I kind of do, but what if it's just a trick? I mean, ask if it's a trick. <laughs> no, uh, no. Right. Mm, have we talked about this this episode? We have. Dan? Sonic Forces. Yes. yes. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, well, you... you, you, you no, don't it seem too easy. You shouldn't have asked you the question. I knew it seemed to that thing. Man, this has got glue on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get... Ben, you make us doubt you from the amount of times you've tricked us. I know, what? you have. I'm very... But cagey? That, good. That's how... Cagey? Game shows work. I'm cagey. That's right. Here we go. Second song. Oh, Floppy knows this one. Dan, question number one. Uh, what kind of game is it? Uh, it <laughs> no, is... no, no, no. What con? I said that one for. What con? <sighs> what is its console? Uh, this version came out on PlayStation One. PlayStation One. Yes. Uno. One. I can't tell if Floppy knows it or was just enjoying it. <laughs> a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, man. Okay, fair. Tony um, Hawk Pro Skater Three. No. Oh. Two. Oh! Yes. Oh. Hit that wrong button. Oh. <laughs> We are all tied up, oh, baby! Oh, I'm so sorry, God. Brayden. I'm so sorry. I was so confident. I look like a weird superhero, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Business idiot. Oh, okay, no. so... Uh, I'm oh, sorry, Brayden. Oh. That's all right. That's all right. Oh. Eat a... You're an unwashed bag of dicks. <laughs> Song number one, Dan. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of oh, a question sorry. I haven't asked. Um, these haven't lasted very long, have they? I've only asked one question <laughs> each time. <laughs> what is the uh, mm, uh, company that bought it out? I'm just trying to think of something different question. Nintendo. All right. Has this come out in the last couple of years? 
Ooh. Um, this version, no. Oh. Question number two. He'll Google it. <laughs> is it my show? Yep. Uh, the cadence of Hyrule? No. Mm. That's what I was going to guess. I didn't know what it was anyway. So I I know, I it's I Mario know. Kart 8. Oh! oh, oh on, a, on a Zelda level? Not deluxe. Is it a Zelda? Is oh, that a Wii Zelda? U? Yeah. 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 Is he Wii U, about the Wii U? Oh, you get these oh, off. Trick- see? Oh. That's the tricky stuff. What? As no, if I do that. See, it's almost like... It's almost like you've got five questions each and none of you are using those questions anymore. I was confident. Well, not very, because at the end of that round, we have the world on nine and Dan on eight. Dan's done very well to catch back up. Will he be able to do the same next week? Be sure to subscribe and tune in to find out. Brayden, say bye-bye. It's time for us to go. Bye. And we have been Hack the Dino. This has been episode 92 of our Nonsense News Video Game Other Words show. Uh, you can find us on youtube.com backslash hack the dino where we'd really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up like button, if you subscribe, and if you ring the bell. Uh, you can also find us, if you don't like our faces, over on podcast apps such as Spotify, such as iTunes, such as SoundCloud. You can head over to bit.ly backslash hack the dino if you want to be part of the Discord and chat to us we're very chatty people and we're not annoying at all no, honestly well i'm not i can't speak for these other two but we are draw your own conclusions uh anyone you want to thank dan yeah i would like to thank the chat for being here tonight and chatting away we didn't get to um, address the chat as much as we usually do th- this thing no it's Brad- we Brad- we'll do that probably i'll more. get there um but yeah I-, I want everyone to join us for our um who's patreon uh and also our next dino more which may involve a bit of um nostalgia not nostalgia a bit of looking handshake to the past there is call- nostalgias out though can we call it that and yeah. there's more nostalgias oh, yeah. coming there is a new nostalgia out for animal cruising crucifixing <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. wow pet cemetery three that's a very animal cruiser you have to go buy nails off mr nook and then <laughs> that got dark put those really up quick. put them up it got really dark is that his name mr nook tom nook tom what's nook. the dog's name uh, K-K Slider. K-K what is it KK Slider. Slide. What did they accidentally just look at a burger and name their dog? <laughs> Anyhow. Um, and another one's coming out really soon. Releases on the same day as Animal Crossing. Oh, yes. Doom External. <laughs> 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 um, that's what it's like to walk outside in our world at the moment. It's Doom External. Better we have to be in, interior to, to, to survive. Um, KK Slider. Ooh. <laughs> I, just read that, I read that in the chat. That wasn't my dad. That wasn't Dan's, like that wasn't Dan's opinion. Dan. That doesn't incite riots. I'd like to thank everyone in our Discord. They have lots of lovely, cool comments to make. They have lots of little conversations that have one amongst one another as well. Cool photos. Come and join it. Enjoy it in the fun. And if you're in the chat right now, you're not in the Discord. Head over there because I will be there. We will be there. Everyone will be there. Dan's never there. Sh- I am. You're he not. puts up photos and then goes. Yeah, show off. Get, Maybe once a week he comes your, in and goes, "Hey everyone, I'm Dan," and then leaves. Get get your game brag out. Get your big. And then we try and message big, him on our private server and go, "Hey Dan, can you make sure you've done this for the show?" And then went during the show, we go, "Hey Dan, did you get that video? Who get what? I don't come over, told that. Chat all to the people that are chatting in there. They're a grump, great bunch of people. Meet some friends, except for Ben. <laughs> yeah, but Ben puts up cool photos. Yeah, cool. Right, we're gone. See you. Bye.